Minsan napapabilis talaga yung takbo. Not necessarily na racing, racing yung pacing. Check out Moto. Hello everyone, this is your boy, J-Cat Moto. Today is November 8, Thursday afternoon. Pupunta tayo sa lugar na maraming twisties. Tulad nito. Yes, maraming twisties because as you have seen in my last moto vlog, my way of breaking in a motorcycle is more on twisties. Hindi po ito brand new na motor ha? This isn't a brand new motorcycle but since na-mention na natin yung twisties, might as well enjoy some twisties today. Cornering, cornering, cornering. Today pala is November 8th. If you remember, November 8th is the day na tumama yung Yolanda sa Pilipinas. So particularly late yung pinakapiktado ng bagyo. November 8th, Yolanda aka Haiyan, Typhoon Haiyan. Corner na naman ulit. Twisties. Anyway, we're still in bye-bye. I'll be taking you to a more twisty twisties, a more exciting one. So it will be the bye-bye Mahaplag Road. You can see Tacloban Road going there. Ah, dito tayo dadaan sa Diversion Road. We are in bye-bye going to Mahaplag. So that is the bye-bye Mahaplag Road. Traversing yan sa bulubunduking lugar. That is why kung dadaan ka dyan ng umaga, foggy dyan. Kung nakita nyo yung liran ride namin with Sir JT of Motor, dumaan kami dyan ng around 5am in the morning and it's foggy. Cornering, by the way, is one of the basic things that you need to learn when it comes to your motorcycle. The most important thing to do is your throttle control. Every Everything starts with your throttle. Yun yung nagko-control ng speed mo. And usually, number one cause ng disgrasya sa daan when it comes to motorcycle is speeding. Pagiging kamote, mabilis na mabilis yung papapatakbo mo. And it's the number one cause. So, throttle control is one of the basic things. Another one is braking. And the third thing for me is cornering. One of the basic yan, cornering. Kasi wala namang daan na street lang karate. Talagang dadaan at dadaan ka sa mga daan na may twisties. If you saw the video na share ko sa page ko, which is big bike na trigger ng inaborti ka ng kabisikleta lang. So, na-trigger siya. I think it's a 1,000cc motorcycle pero unfortunately, when it comes to cornering, kinakain siya ng nakabike lang. That is why, dapat at least, we know the basic of cornering kasi magagamit natin yan sa ride natin. He was discussion na rin. Since, aside from intersection, another area wherein most of the crashes or accidents happen when it comes to motorcycle is corners. So, this is one corner right here. This is, as you can see, asphalto na po siya. Good thing about this corner, right here is uphill siya. More on uphill ang corner. Pagbalik natin, more on downhill. So, uphill, more confident kang mag-banking-banking -banking because hindi naglalak yung mga elbows mo or mga kraso. Coming back to the topic, cornering. If you are familiar, there's a saying that goes, straights are for fast bikes, corners are for fast riders. Well, I'm not saying na gusto nating maging fast rider. In that category na, pang racing-racing na. We're just going to be running through the basics of cornering para magamit natin sa ride natin. We are not going to go on race tracks na kailangan nating mag-dragging. Nag-uumpisa na po yung mga corners. So, before starting to enjoy the corners, dapat yung mindset mo is number one, do not underestimate the corner. Especially if it's your first time na dumaan sa daan na yun. Always keep in your mind, parang ganyan, may loose gravel na sa gitna. You'll never know. So, do not underestimate the corner. Second mindset you should do is do not overestimate your skills. Do not be overconfident. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Hello, my
Naging overconfident ako. Maulan yung panahon. Nag-slide yung motor ko sa isang corner patungong Maasin City. Now, the third thing is stay focused and have presence of mind. Because you'll never know there'll be emergencies that's going to happen and you have to process it immediately and mag-react. Stop muna tayo rito. Let's go ahead with the first thing that you need to do. For me, usually, what I do is to move forward closer to the handlebar. So, pag ganito yung position ko, huwag malayo. So, I move closer to the handlebar. The reason for this is you have to relax your elbow. Yung braso nyo, you have to relax. During corners kasi, pag ganito yung position nyo, straight yung braso nyo. Ang tendency, pag nabulaga kayo or medyo mahirap yung corner, tendency naglalak yung elbows nyo. Lalo na pag downhill, baka ma-overshoot kayo or you will be cornering wide. So, overshoot yung resulta. So, that's the number one thing that you should do before taking the corner. So, bago pa mag-approach sa corner, if you're taking to the left, then position your bike to the rightmost area of the corner before approaching it. Opposite naman, kung nagko-corner kayo going to the right. Kung going to the right ka, position your motorcycle to the leftmost part of the lane. Before anything else, pala, make sure that you approach the corner since we're talking of the mindset earlier na dapat do not underestimate the corner make sure you enter the corner with your comfortable speed yung speed na alam mo kayang-kaya mo lang confident ka so I'm entering going to the right so I'll be positioning my motorcycle here and then that one counter steer Approaching the corner with the comfortable speed, either you have to slow down your bike through your throttle, di ka na mag-brake, or you can use your brake. Huwag kang magpadala sa mga sinasabi. You will be judged by your way of cornering. Pag masyado kang nag-brake, entering the corner pa lang. Parang judgmental na sila. Ah, newbie to. Don't be fooled by that kind of mindset. Pag masyadong malakas yung approach mo, kailangan namang di mag-brake. So we are entering a left corner, approach on the comfortable speed, look at the corner, then counter steer. Okay, counter steering. What concept is this? Counter steering is simply, if you're going to the left, you push your left handlebar to the right. So I'm going to the left, push the left handlebar to the right. Push na ganito. Ganyan. That's counter steering. Meaning counter against the direction that you are going to. So I'm going to the left, so I will push my left handlebar to the right. It will cause your tire to lean. Okay, I'm going to the right, so I will be pushing my... Um, handlebar my right handlebar to the left okay as you can see that is why earlier i told you that you need to or kailangan mo maging closer sa bike mo kasi mas relax i counter steer pag ganun lalo na pag downhill mahirap kasi yung downhill uh, you tend to lock up your elbows kung napapansin niyo yung moto gp riders malapit sila sa handlebar basically because one their body is designed that way na dapat kang nakayuko if you're using underbones well you really have to move closer to your bike's handlebar so let's go back to counter steering so approach the corner with a comfortable speed look to the corner you are going to then counter steer so i'm going to the right push the right handlebar to the left Okay, going to the left, push your left handlebar to the right. Oh, ganyan po yung cornering. Of course, you really have to set your eyes kung saan yung corner, yung direction ng corner. Meron tayong tinatawag na SR or survival reaction. Ang tendency natin, pag nabulaga tayo, ang paningin natin directed towards sa obstacle or uh, hazard, kung maaari na lang, may bato na gusto mong iwasan. Instead na yung direction ng mata mo, dapat nakafocus sa direction ng corner. You are focused towards the rock or bato. So, ang tendency niyan is you'll be fixated or fixation. Naglalock up yung elbows mo instead na mag corner ka, you'll be surprised na pupunta ka sa bato, direction ng bato. The result is discrasia. So, fixation. That's, that's one way of avoiding fixation. You have to direct your eyes towards the corner. So, slow down, direct your eyes towards the corner and counter steer. Once you are exiting the corner, go back to your throttle. Dapat apply ka na ng throttle mo. Gas ka ulit. Another thing is that since nasabi ko na earlier na you have to brake approaching the corner if you are way too fast. Once nakalid na yung bike mo, avoid braking. Why? Because you might end up skidding your tire. Huwag ka mag-skid yung tire mo, lalo na sa harap. Kung kailangan talagang mag-brake during cornering, well, that is one of the skill na dapat mo ring malaman, which is emergency braking. You have to bring your bike to an upright position. Upright mo muna yung bike mo, kunwari, nasa corner ka na. Corner, like any other skills, you have to practice this one. Hindi lang alam mo yung principles, kundi dapat i-practice mo rin. Walang silbi yung principles mo or theory mo kung hanggang panood ka lang sa video na to. You have to practice it. Balik muna tayo kasi medyo dumidilim na. Baka umulan pa. I'll continue to demonstrate na lang sa cornering and let's enjoy the corners right here.
Uh, approaching the right corner, I'm positioning my bike to the left part. Uh, looking at the corner or the direction of the corner and then counter steer. So again, I'm going to take the right corner, looking at the right corner, then counter steer. Since di naman mabilis yung takbo ko, so dapat slow down na talaga. You have to take the corner at comfortable speeds. So left side na corner, yan. So taking the right side corner, left side position natin. Counter steer, then roll ng throttle back, pabalik, pagas. Okay, taking the left corner. So, as you can see right here, once na entering na corner ko, I am moving my body closer to my handlebar. Kasi mas pabor siya sa counter steering pag ganun. Lapit, tapos counter steer. Lapit, tapos counter steer. So, while looking at the corner, of course, and then throttle control dapat, and then roll back the throttle or uh, gas ka ulit pag exit mo ng corner. So, we're still doing corners right now. Look at the corner. Exit gas. So if you can see also, aside from moving my body towards the handlebar, I'm also sort of leaning my body towards the corner that I want to take. Magko corner ako sa right. I'm leaning my body going to the right. Para mas pabor yung counter steer ko. Tapos mas relax yung elbow ko dito. The same thing with the opposite side. Going to the left. I'm leaning my body going to the left also. And then counter steer. So malapit yung braso ko sa handlebar. Mas madali siyang i-counter steer mo at the same time mahirap mag-lock yung elbows mo pag ganun yung posisyon ng katawan mo. Hindi po siya mayabang na posisyon pag ganun. Kasi usually ginajudge na tayo ng iba pag nakita nilang ganun yung posisyon natin pag corner. Well, we are just applying the basics of cornering. Of course, so sa rides, minsan napapabilis talaga yung takbo. Not necessarily na racing-racing yung pacing natin. I am sharing this to you right now para at least naman kung may mga newbie na nanonood. Of course, this video, if di ka na baguhan sa pagbomotor, alam mo na to. For those na baguhan lang, I think you can learn from this. So, I guess I have to end this motor vlog right here. Malapit na rin tayo sa Bye Bye City and then and medyo madilim na at makulimlim sa unahan baka ulanin pa tayo before ending this motor vlog I have to leave you with this poem Roses are red Violets are blue If you're planning to go on a twisty road make sure to practice your basics bro So that's about it This is your boy J.K. Motto saying you bye-bye Woohoo!